All right, so here's the mountain of God. Oh, this is 神的山 And God is calling you in your destiny up the mountain. 神呼召你要来登这个你的命定的山 And you better move because the clock is ticking. 那你要赶快来登了，因为时间非常的紧张。You have a certain amount of time on earth to enter conversions. 因为你在世上的时间是有限的，你必须要快加快脚步才能够进入到这个汇流的里面。And you'll notice God never takes you straight up a mountain. 你会发现神带你爬登山的方式永远不是那个直路，直接往上爬。He takes you around the mountain. 他带你是走弯弯曲曲的路，绕上山顶。Have you ever felt like your life has gone through cycles? 你有没有发现你的人生好像在一个不断的循环的里面呢、啊、？See, you have to really discern this. 你必须要察觉这一点、啊。Because every one of your life has this life pattern. 因为你的人生其实是有一个循环模式的。But, but you'll notice that each time you go around the circle, it gets faster. 你有没有发现每一次走一圈，越走的速度是越快的 and, ？And each time you go around the process, you see from a higher angle. 而且虽然你看的方、看的东西好像都一样，可是你发现那个高度不一样了。Let's take a look at the cycles you're going through. 我们来看看你所走的这个循环到底看起来像什么 ？First of all, 第一 ，the first stage， 第一个第一个阶段 ，it's the dream stage， 梦想。God gives you a dream. 神给你一个梦想。How many of you love prophecy? 有多少人喜欢先知预言的话语 ？How many of you love to get a prophecy? 有多少人想要今天领受先知预言的？请举手一下。Ooh, I love prophecy. 哦，很爱先知预言的话语。Because prophecy is like a dream. 因为先知预言的话语像梦一样。It talks about the future God wants to manifest. 因为讲到神要彰显的未来。So, in English, we call that the dream. 英文叫做梦想。But right after the dream. 梦想之后呢？ Everybody's so happy when they get the dream. 每一个人领受梦想时都很开心。In the Bible, right after God gives you a promise, 在圣经里面，当神给你一个应许的时候 ，you go down into a thing called distress. 哦，通常领受完应许之后的下一个阶段叫做艰难，叫做苦难呐。It just happens this way. 通常就是这样子啊。Because God's expanding you. 因为神在扩张你嘛。So you get a prophecy about prosperity. 所以你领受关于神要使你兴盛。That's around the same time that you get a new bill. 然后通常在新生的时候，突然发现有一个好大的账单要付。Because God is expanding you in your contradiction. 因为神在你的矛盾冲突里扩张你的境界。So Jonathan, we need a word for distress. 好，这个叫什么？苦难吗 ？Distress， 艰难跟苦难，你可以随便写，反正意思都一样。哈，就是艰难。Very good. Okay, now. Once we go here, it's. So, in this place, I'm not very happy. Lord, where are you? Lord, where are you? You promised this. You promised this. And look at what's happening. You look at what's happening. You look at what's happening. This is the. Has anyone gone through this? 有没有人经过这个的？请举手一下。哦，感谢。You'll go through this cycle maybe about four or five times till you hit convergence. 你要走这个过程走四次到五次才会进入到那个汇流的正。Usually you're around fifty years old when you figure this out. 通常大概到这边的时候，差不多快五十岁了。This is what Bobby Clinton's data says. 这个 Bobby 他的做的 Bobby Clinton 的研究报告是这样写的。Most people are hitting destiny in our generation around after they're fifty. 大部分的人在在在我们这个时代的人是在差不多五十岁才进到他的命定里。Because out of distress, you have to start to develop. 这这个是哦，这个是 develop 是成长啊，这是成长期。So at this stage, 在成长期的时候 ，you begin to practice how to do the new thing. 你开始学习操练怎么做这个新的事。God says you're going to have、um, a great business. 只说你会有一个非常大的一个生很好的生意啊。Then you start to go bankrupt. 然后你后来就破产了。Then you start to learn how to do the business. 然后你开始学习怎么真的做生意。And before you know it, you're now demonstrating. 啊，你现在已经彰显出 the dream is now being manifest. 现在等于说这个梦想已经在实现。我们可以说这个是实现啊。And you got the crown on your head. 现在头上有冠冕了。So these are the four stages. So this can be said to be four stages. Joseph gets a dream that he's ruling. Joseph made a dream that he was the prince of Egypt. Joseph's brothers 
put him in a pit. Joseph comes out in Egypt as a servant. And then Joseph is ruling in Egypt with a crown. These are the cycles, and you'll have this cycle repeat two, three, four times in your life. Now this is the dream to demonstration pattern. And you'll see this in David's life as well. Oh, David gets singled out by Samuel. Oh, In front of all of his brothers. Samuel puts the oil on him and prophesies. David takes off and slays Goliath. David marries the king's daughter. And then David is running for his life for 10 years. He's running from cave to cave and place to place. He's working for Philistines. He's, he's running from Saul. Then gradually the tribes start coming to him. And the day comes when Saul dies and David is king of all Israel. Do you guys see a pattern here yet? Can any of you see your own life in that story? Do you know why we love prophecy so much? We love prophecy because we secretly wish we could just do it this way. And God always takes us that way. This puts a smile on God's face. This doesn't make God happy.